last week I made a new shelter with the fireplace. And I want to use this opportunity to try to answer on all questions that haunt me since long time. Is it true that the wall of my shelter or the stone wall of my fire pit doesn't really work as fire reflector? Hello YouTube, welcome to a new video. Maybe half a year ago I saw some videos from well-known bushcrafters and they said that a wall from branches like this or a stone wall like this reflector behind the fire doesn't really work as fire reflector. They said it's scientifically proven that a stone wall or a wooden wall can't reflect radiation heat from the fire. I guess there must be a core of truth, but my gut feeling and my experience tells me another story. In this video, I would like to find an answer to clarify my insecurity. I'm for sure unable to give you a scientific answer on these questions. For that, I know much too less about the physical process of heat transfer of a fire. But what I can do is to measure the radiation heat with my infrared camera on my front and on my back on different fire reflector settings. And this is what I want to do now. Scenario 1 is a fire without any reflectors. Scenario 2 is a fire with a reflector behind the fire. And scenario 3 is a fire with a reflector behind the fire and a wooden reflector behind my back. For the following measurements, I use an infrared thermometer and an infrared camera. To reduce the measurement inaccuracies, I will measure each point 10 times. For the comparison, we take an average. Now it's half past 5. The outside temperature is around 2 degrees Celsius or 36 degrees Fahrenheit. After 10 minutes acclimatization time at the fire, we start with the measurements. On average, I measured 28 degrees Celsius on the chest and 14 degrees Celsius on the back. Now it's half past six. The outside temperature dropped to minus one degree. After 10 minutes acclimatization time at the fire, I make the next measurements. I measured 3 degrees more at my chest. The temperature on my back is still the same. One and a half hours later, the roof is finished. Now it's 8 o'clock. The outside temperature remains stable at minus 1 degree. After 10 minutes acclimatization time, I made the last measurement. At 
the chest, I measure at still the same temperature, but on my back, the temperature rose significantly by 5 degrees. Here is an overview of the measured data. So my friends, now to my conclusion. And you can call me old fashioned if you want, but in my opinion, a wall like this or a stone wall behind the fire has for sure an impact regarding the temperature inside my shelter. I can't judge if it are the reflecting infrared waves who create the extra heat or if the reflectors just reduce the wind. I guess it's both. Fact is, it's warmer with reflectors than without. But there are also other reasons why reflectors are useful. The light is also reflecting on the walls. With reflectors, the environment is much brighter than without. Here's a little demonstration. If the reflector behind the fire is high enough, you will have less smoke in the shelter. That's another advantage. The reflector offers a certain visual protection, so the fire is not that easy visible from outside. The two reflectors limit the shelter area and create something like a living room atmosphere. These are the reasons why I like to build reflectors for a campfire. Of course, it's always a big effort to build such walls. That's why it makes not always sense to create reflectors, but the benefit is obvious to me. So, that's it for today. I hope this was interesting for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!